Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and this possible breakout here to the downside that we're seeing right now happening. So before we start with the content, a little reminder, we still have some Coinbase slots free to get some free altcoins. So if you're using Coinbase, then make sure to click the links down below here for these Coinbase earn referrals where you can get immediately these $10 worth of altcoins immediately. For example, we have Compound, we have EOS, Stellar and so on. So if you're using Coinbase, then go down below here in the video description and you the invitation links that you find down below here because with those links you can get access immediately to these free altcoins that coinbase is giving to you and now my friends let's start straight with the content because here in the four hour you can see that currently we are seeing this play out of this bearish divergence that we created here during the weekend and my target here to be reached is down at twelve thousand nine hundred dollar at least there is also a chance that maybe we have a complete retracement back down towards the main support of this channel that we are in currently right at eleven thousand one hundred dollar but this price level is where i'm expecting at least a first initial bounce to the upside before maybe we continue to go lower but this is what we're gonna have to see once we are reaching these levels down here at around thirteen thousand dollar because after getting here a sell signal you can see that currently we have the money flow going out so i'm expecting here continuation to the downside and what we are seeing right now could be just a confirmation that the previous support so this green line now is the new resistance but let's go now back to the four hour time frame and also have a look into the Bollinger Band because currently you can see that we came very close to the bottom and this is why I think we are gonna see now a breather to retest the new resistance potentially here at around $13,600. We have MACD and KST shifted to the downside and Stochastic coming in very oversold condition. So at least a breather to the upside I'm expecting and then we're gonna have to see what will happen. If we are able to go again above $13,600 and also close four hour candles above this price level then this was a fake out but if we're gonna starting to close here for our candles below thirteen thousand six hundred dollar then be prepared to see continuation to the downside at least towards thirteen thousand dollar potentially even lower and if we have a look into the dxy you can see that currently we are still pushing to the upside even though we are also here looking a bit exhausted in the four hour so also here there is a high chance that maybe we come down to test one of these moving averages here between 9370 even down towards 9330 since we are looking a bit toppy here but if the dxy is starting to push higher and higher here since we are breaking out from this main resistance that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks the dxy could be very dangerous right now for the bitcoin price and also overall in the stock market i'm expecting a possible crash at least for the short term if the dxy is able to push way higher here but if here we're gonna see a fake out if the dxy is coming back down again below 93.30 then i think this was a fake out and we will see big continuation to the downside here in the dxy and the opposite in the bitcoin price and now we can also have a look into the daily time frame in the bitcoin price because you can see that currently we are right at the top of our channel that we have here since many days and weeks and if we're going to repeat something similar like we had the last time here when we topped out at the top of this channel you can see that we could see still some tests here of this fourteen thousand three hundred dollar area before maybe we're coming down towards the support and then have another big bounce to the upside so as long as we're trading within this channel i'm expecting the price to bounce up and down before we're going to see a big huge breakout to the upside or to the downside to the upside the target would be at least sixteen to eighteen thousand dollar but but also to the downside it can happen if the dxy continues to pump higher then my target would be at least towards here this previous resistance which now is new support right at around nine thousand dollar and also in the indicators you can see that currently we are looking a bit overbought and we could see here a correction incoming and in that case the worst case i think would be right here at the main support at around eleven thousand one hundred dollar 
and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that currently we're fighting right with the nine day moving average if this one is getting lost so if we're gonna close a daily candle below 13,440 I'm expecting a complete retracement back down towards the 20 daily moving average at $12,700 and if we continue to fall here the bottom at the moment is right here $10,900 so approximately at around $11,000 and that's why I think 11,000 is a very key level if this level is getting broken and then I'm expecting big continuation to the downside. But if we're gonna get supported here at $11,000, I'm expecting here another big bounce to the upside and then potentially even go up here to test $15,000 and if we have a look quickly here into the dxy you can see that currently we're getting some resistance here at the 100 day moving average as soon as this one is broken be prepared to see a big push to the upside towards the 200 daily moving average at 97 dollar this is also where i'm expecting a big rejection and then continuation to the downside also here we have the rsi coming up into overbought condition but we still have some room left to the upside also after getting here a buy signal you can see that the money flow is coming up again so i'm expecting here continuation to the upside even though the dxy is still in a bear market still trading below the 200 daily moving average and therefore even though we could see a big bounce to the upside here expect here a big rejection and we can also have a look into the weekly time frame in the Bitcoin price because in my opinion this is still the most bullish chart and here also once more you can see that we are right at the top of our channel so even if we would correct down towards the 20 weekly moving average currently at $11,100 we will still remain on our bullish uptrend and you should consider to buy every dip or at least every time that the 20 weekly moving average is getting tested during a bull run because Bitcoin usually always bounces from this moving average. Also, we have currently the RSI quite overbought in my own indicator. Also, I think we are getting very soon a sell signal, but that could just indicate that we will have a little dip here towards the 20 weekly moving average before we're gearing up here for the next big leg up and if we have a look also into the dxy you can see that currently we're getting rejected from the 20 weekly moving average if we're able to push higher then i think we're gonna see this area up here at around 97 dollar and this is also where i am telling you that most likely if the dxy is gonna have a big green candle to the upside this is the area where i'm expecting huge rejection because also in the past year this acted as a huge support and now should be turning into new resistance so overall my friends bitcoin is still looking very bullish even though i'm still expecting some pullbacks here at least towards eleven thousand one hundred dollar maybe even a short lift dip here towards 9k but overall everything you're buying below 20k will be a perfect entry but of course this is something else if you're trading with a leverage because then of course you should keep up with these pump and dumps to not get stopped out or liquidated and that's why my friends if i would enter in a trade right now it would be most likely a short to write it down towards $11,100 and then swap it over into a long but since I don't like to short uptrends I'm just waiting here on the sideline to catch another good long opportunity and if you also want to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage you can use my referrals that you find down below here in the video description with the recommended exchanges I personally use mostly Bybit and Femix here is also where you can get the most bonus on Bybit $90 and on Femix $80 if you fulfill all the requirements and you register with my link then BTR I'm using to trade with my tether because here you can trade all the currencies just only using tether and of course prime xpt where you can have this special feature which is called co-vesting where you can just copy trade other traders this is also what I'm doing next to my own trading and make sure also to join my discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description this is also how you can get my own indicator if you're interested you can contact me over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye